going up and, and, and I've seen him on the track and I thought he looked really well as well. He's very reminiscent to me of Elite Power who is already more decorated, like you said, when he came over here. But this horse took a little bit to get going. His most recent races have been excellent. Um, he's, I feel like his running style has gotten a lot better. It's like he's just figuring himself out at age five. The New York bred, what you'll notice is that when he used to win races, bold journey, it, it would be, he would be a steady grind, a mm -hmm. steady grind. Now he's polishing off his races. He's really developed a knockout punch. He's quite a taking horse to look at. Yeah. All, all muscle, all sprinter, all power through that hind end. Joel Rosario he's for Bill Mark. a lot bulkier than most hard funds are, too. I mean, he's really more reminiscent of, you know, like, of Curlin was, just like Elite Power. All right. What's wrong with Remake? Remake had uh, Gunite and Elite Power to beat last year. No disgrace not to be able to do that. Without them in the field, can he not just win? I, you're not You're not as, as, as far on, on Remake. Uh, you go ahead, you talk. No, I, I it's just, uh, he was really good in this race last year. Elite Power, Gunite, the two best dirt sprinters in the world. And Remake, chasing and finishing third, not having to deal with either of them. The pace should be quick enough to set up his late kick. A lot of upside. He's a legit sprinter. Uh, Michelle is, is curling <laughs> her lips. <laughs> I, mean, it's not, I mean, she does that to you quite a lot, but. I just, I mean, he was no match last time in the JBC Sprint. I know he ran those good races uh, behind Sibelius and behind Elite Power and Gunite. Um, I just don't, I don't know, I just don't love him. I feel like he's a horse that likes to pick up checks and maybe he sits around here, but I just don't know if he's good enough to win this field, even if it's not as good as you know, with, a, with a standout star as the one last year. I am more likely to lean towards Rebellious Sage in here. I think this horse is so interesting. Broke his maiden at first asking at Pimlico for Brittany Russell. Came on and did not run badly against Allowance Company. Then he got sold at the Horse of the Racing Age sale for half of his original purchase odd. price, by the way. And then he's won five in a row locally. And he's ridden by Camille Ospina, who's been champion jockey here in Saudi Arabia eight times. So has a, a, a forensic knowledge of the circuit. Let me tell you, I went back and watched this horse in his local races. He comes from just off the pace. And when they ask him to go, he has this beautiful stride. He just levels out and goes. I don't think he's been tested in any one of those local races. He wins the way you want to see him. He's the son of Justify. To me, there's no sire hotter than Justify at this moment. And he's won on this track. His Winning the trial to get here was legit. Pace from Jasper Crone? Pro yes, right? That's for sure. That's where Very it's going to come fast. from. Just let's, let's hope he corners better than he did in his last race with a left-handed bend in the Breeders' Cup Turf Sprint at Santa Anita. Ah, uh, let's hope so, particularly as he's drawn down toward the inside. You don't want him taking half the field. Yeah, but I, if you I go back and watch that race, they hustled him out of the gate, and it's a really quick come up to that turn, which is extremely sharp. Our turns here are a lot more sweeping. I don't think he's going to be a bolt situation. All right, they're loading briskly, and they'll be coming back briskly as well in this Group 3 Sports Boulevard Riyadh Dirt Sprint. 1,200 meters or six furlongs. It'll take a little under 70 seconds to run this. It'll be called by Richard Hoyles. So runners moving forward. Last couple going in. K Rama, one of those. And also Power of Beauty, who was sent to post early and has been kept quiet down the start. Goes in in the blue and white jacket, 1,200 meters on the dirt. And they're all poised and they jump away. A little bit of scrimmaging and the loser was Kay Dory early on. Well out was Rebellious Stage and up the inside Alface Alea is also showing Dash. So is Skelly and also pushed along the white face of Jasper Crone in the white sleeves. They're being followed by Taz for in fifth place and then a couple of lengths behind these to Kedrama. Kay Doro at this stage and right at the back early on is Bold Journey. So three deep they make their way into the bend. Skelly on the outside of Jasper Crone and Rebellious Stage holding the running rail. Behind those in fourth place is Power of Beauty Kay Rama and Taz on the outside come next then behind these we have the green jacket of sunset flash uh, remake making a little bit of ground now saying to the inside moving to about fifth or sixth bold journey and kaodori with a lot to do jasper crone is the first one to commit skelly tries to cover the move just lugging to the left then behind these rebellious stage looking for those coming from the back bold journeys making ground remake is now asked for the effort to try and pick up the leader and that leader is now skelly who's gone to the front skelly from jasper crone remake continues to close off strongly out in front, it's Skelly. Remake down the outside. Once again, Japan after the USA. And once again, it will go to Japan. Remake, third last year. Turns away Skelly. Bold journey ran on late. Jasper Krone, Kayama, Sunset Flash. Kayodoro, it all ended at the start. And behind those, we had Taz dropped out. Power of Beauty towards the tail and Alfa 
Nice patient ride there by Yuga Kawada, angled out at the top of the straight and won by two lengths on the line. Skelly gave it his all, bold journey, was a long way back, made ground up the rail for third. Fourth place will go to Jasper Crone, who also gave a bold sight, K-Rama, and then a whole forest of horses for sixth place. It is a remake in the colours of Koji Maeda for Koichi Shintani and Yuga Kawada, who win the dirt sprint. Take elite power and gunite out of the equation, and Remake was allowed his Riyadh dirt sprint. You feel for Steve Asmussen, second again here in Saudi Arabia, a position he's become familiar with in the desert. But Remake is a horse who's honest. He finishes off his race, and today he didn't have two sprinting Galacticos in front of him. Good stuff from Yuga Kawada, over 2,000 winners and another big one. But he did have Skelly in front of him, who fired and ran well. When he opened up, he looked like he was home. The, what a patient, patient ride, Michelle, here in remake from off the pace, nailing Skelly inside the final 50 yards or so. I think overall, what a patient ride from Ricardo Santana on um, Skelly as well, because that horse is usually on the engine, and he was very kind to sit off of him. I think he tried to make a little bit more of a delayed run because we've been seeing how these horses look like they're home free, and this extra long stretch really does them in. So I thought that was a smart ride from him. Remake the best today. You guys are right. Sorry about my curled lip. And he's by Go one remake. of your favorites. Yes, he's Lani. by Lani. Lani. And people will be thinking he's by Lani. And how can he possibly win a top race over six thirds? Uh, Lani, a, a Belmont Stakes third place <laughs> finisher. He wants to run side. all day, right? Not this guy. The bottom side. The bottom side gets you there. And that is what it means to Yuga Kawada. 38-year-old Yuga Kawada who runs Ushba Tazora later. Quite conceivably the leading Japanese hope in the Saudi Cup. He might just be getting started. He's got X in the Red Sea Turf handicap as well. He's won 41 races at the top level Unreal. in Japan. 41. Bold Journey came through for third. That was a good run from Bold Journey. He was last going around the turn, uh, or going down the backside, and you know he was just kind of comfortable. He was trying to make up that ground again, and then came up the rail. We've seen a lot of horses come up the middle of the track. So to see a horse come up the rail like that, it feels encouraging for a horse like White Barrio if they want to try and save that ground. Something to keep in mind moving forward. Bold Journey, a solid effort, really, really improving for Skelly. The winning streak comes to an end. It's seven, but he, he horses, the great ones lose. Every horse, they, they lose. That was a, a, an effort that I think Team Skelly and Steve Asmussen can be very proud of. You talk about a big step up in class. I mean, they don't get much bigger than that, right? He went from Oaklawn to Saudi. Uh, Yuga Kawada is, is alongside me. Yuga, talk us through that race. It was, a, it was an impressive display. Uh, today, she again, uh, she very good condition and uh, good start and good keep and uh, and race focus and uh, uh, home stretch. Uh, very good uh, feeling. I try to a little bit wait and uh, uh, okay, please go. Uh, she can uh, very good moving and she catch the front post. Uh, I'm very happy and uh, uh, I just trust him. Yeah. And just quickly, you ride Ushba Tesoro later. Uh, how confident are you about his chances? Maybe I, I hope the uh, uh, same result. Yeah, I hope. <laughs> well done here and good luck later. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Later on, Ushba de Zorro, a horse who's one blip in an otherwise blemish free campaign last year, came in the Breeders' Cup Classic, where you have to feel that he wasn't uh, his very best. If he returns to something like his best today, then he'll be a big player. 38 Team. years old. Ushba Tesoro has to be pretty excited about what they've seen in the last hour or so in dirt races here at King Abdulaziz and how well horses have done from off the pace late in the lane. And I think if you asked somebody this time 12 months ago, Ushba Tesoro or Derma Sotogake in terms of raw talent, they'd have probably said the former. Now Derma Sotogake has run some wonderful races subsequently. He certainly has, and he's been the talked about horse here this week. I think if you uh, were walking around the racetrack at all and you asked which Japanese horse do you like the best, Irma Sotogake was the resounding favorite. I felt like I couldn't jump off Ushba Tesoro off of just the one bad race, though. He's he, All he does is win. Aside from the one bad race, all yeah. he does is win. But it wasn't that bad. He ran fifth. It wasn't like he ran last and got beat 20, right? Far, far back. 
Guys, I want to ask, the, the horses who finished second and third here, Skelly particularly, and maybe to a lesser extent, Bold Journey, what part do you think they're going to play on the sprinting scene in North America for the rest of the year? So last year, Gunite, following the second place finish to Elite Power, uh, he went on to Dubai, and he did run in the Golden Shaheen. He ran very well, in fact, to the States and got some time off. Steve Asmussen has said he wants to take Skelly back to the States, run him in the Count Fleet at Oakland, so it's going to be a one and done as far as the travel. Yeah. I, I, I'm surprised in a way. I'd be quite tempted. Slightly slicker track in, in Dubai. Maybe, maybe, maybe plans change, mm. right? I mean, he runs that well. That's an easy thing to say to begin with, right? Oh, we're just going to one and done, and we're going to go home. But you run that well and that respectively, you think, oh, maybe. Uh, I mean, this was a big test the water situation for Skelly, and I thought he responded extremely well to it. But it is Remake who's come home strongest of all. He so often finishes his race off willingly and honestly, but on some occasions there are just better, sharper, brisker horses in front of him. Not so today. And he looked like he had plenty left. Traveling easy, putting Skelly away. That beautifully timed ride and one of the best dirt sprinters in the world and a lot for him to be celebrating and fired up about. Remake goes two better than last year by winning the Riyadh Dirt Sprint. It's the grass equivalent when you rejoin us.